Okay, so you want to design your own lovely cards for Home Assistant. Okay, I have something for you. This is uh, what I'm working on recently. This uh, custom card allows you to import SVG images and attach dynamic data uh, from Home Assistant so you can display real time state and other data on your design. Get started, I'm going to walk you through a step by step on how to create and config so it can be usable. So here I have uh, some of the card I made <coughs> earlier. This card is an uh, SVG I made, uh, so I made earlier simple SVG images like this and uh, go like let me create a new card okay, this one is uh, called a dynamic card then uh, when it's uh, <coughs> newly created it has nothing in it so it's just an empty card so what you need to do is you need to upload your image just like that click save and then you got a card that that is simple okay now <coughs> as uh, in shown earlier in this um, example I have this card config so it can turn on and off my bedroom lights it also had a, has a dimmer so I can dim my lights or turn it off turn it on okay, and have the uh, <coughs> colors of the background changes whenever the state of the light change <coughs> and um, you can assign this card to a different entities for <coughs> for every card you, you make so for example this one I assign this to the bedroom lights and this one I assign to the balcony lights so I can turn off turn them on and off individually okay mm. how is it possible to display the state the state of my lights here and be able to control it? Okay, let's uh, open configurator and um, see what's behind. Okay, so here I'm gonna walk you through um, one of the two things that makes this possible. The first thing is the bindings. What it, what it does is it binds your data, any data, to a uh, element uh, in your design, in your content. So, um, okay, let's go back to my SVG. So, my image contains a few components um, they have a, a main so I, I did I did them all so I can uh, query the query them later later in the uh, configurator here I have a main group which uh, wraps everything so I can um, set a class here like on or off so and you can you can take effect everything on the on the content right here and uh, I style them with uh, CSS so when whatever whenever the the main classes to um, change to on uh, 
I have the background with different color, uh, just something like that. Okay, and um, also ID some of the uh, text I want to display the my light state, my light brightness. So here I have an uh, a text with an idea of light value, and that that that's it. Okay, let's go back to the configurator. Let me ex explain uh, one by one. Okay, so I here bindings is a, is a list of rules to tell the card which data to update whenever whenever the state of home assistant change. And um, the first one, I uh, I bind the state of the card to the class of element ID main. Okay. And the second one, I bind the uh, the brightness to the uh, element ID light value, and I want to set the inner HTML of it, the inner content of it. Okay, that's it. This, okay, this is the, the bindings. Okay, here comes the, uh, the actions. Actions are basically basically events, so you can attach events. Uh, onto the card, so we can listen to um, mouse event, or touch event, or whatever the events you want. Um, <clears throat> here I have three actions. So when I click on an element ID light, it does this. Okay, it toggles. It toggles the light, and. Uh, the second action is when I click on the dimmer button, it dim down the light by 25. And when I click on the brighter button, it brightens the light by 25. So that's it, guys. This is all text to make it work. Okay, so we can I can add. Uh, more actions like just like this type click and I want to select the uh, the background or the um, the main select uh, main And uh, it will like show an alert, okay? Alert. Works. Okay. Save it. And now, when you click on the main, it will alert a message. Say it works. That's it, guys. This is how simple it is to. Build your own card and implement it into the Lovelace UI perform assistance. Okay, one thing I forgot. So when you have your design updated and you want to replace the existing SVG, you can do that simply by just go to the configuration tab, click upload design and select another design. Which you update it okay just like that and the design is updated okay and you can have your card full screen like this to display on the uh, google hub it's display or google hub maps with display Here's some the card test out. Just simple HTML inputs and buttons. Mm -hmm.